airframe and it's to uh, help you pass your final test just as it's been helping me um, right now we are on hydraulic and pneumatic power systems it has 114 questions and right now I'm gonna have my sister read for me this is on how to read if you guys want to read you guys can read try to answer the question before I do okay let's Hydraulic and pneumatic power systems, 114 questions, enlist, 17 items. Tap to activate. And if at any point you guys feel that I'm going too fast, you guys can always pause. If you guys feel that I'm going too slow, you guys can uh, fast forward. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Uh, it kind of helps it out on the channel and it makes it easier for you guys to search and study on all the subjects that are in this channel okay let's begin question one of 114 refer to figure 11 an inflared tube fitting is referred to in which picture view figures view fig not selected, one. Selected. EXPL. An inflared tube fitting is shown as one in figure 11. The infitting differs from the AC fitting shown as two because of the unthreaded portion of the fitting between the end of the threads and the flare cone. Reference. AMTG Chapter 9. Okay. Next. Question 2 of 114. What happens to the output of a constant displacement hydraulic pump when the hydraulic system pressure regulator diverts the fluid from the system to the reservoir? Not selected, the output pressure remains the same, but the volume reduces. Radio button. Selected. Not selected, the output pressure reduces, but the volume remains the same. Radio but selected. EXPL but When the system pressure regulator opens to unload the pump, the fluid passes from the reservoir through the pump to the pressure regulator, back into the reservoir, with almost no opposition. The volume remains the same, but the pump output pressure drops to almost zero. The system pressure regulator traps the pressure in the system where it is held by the accumulator. Okay. Next. Question 3 of 114. Petroleum base hydraulic fluid is which color? Not selected. Red. Selected. EXPL. Mill H5606 petroleum base hydraulic fluid is dyed red. Okay. Next. Button. Question 4 of 114. Two types of hydraulic fluids currently being used in civil aircraft are Not selected, mineral base, and Selected EXPL Nearly all of the hydraulic fluid used in modern civilian aircraft is either mineral base mill H5606 red oil or phosphate ester base fluid such as the various types of Skydrol. Okay. Next. Question 5 of 114. A worn hydraulic pump shaft seal can normally be detected by Not selected. Hydraulic fluid flowing from the pump drain line. Radio Selected. EXPL Hydraulic pumps have a shaft seal vented into a compartment in the pump and drained overboard. If the pump shaft seal leaks, hydraulic fluid will drip out of the overboard drain line. Okay. Next. Question 6 of 114. What is the purpose of using backup rings with O-rings in hydraulic systems above 1,500 PSI? Not selected. Prevent high pressure from extruding the seal between the moving and stationary part. Ready? Selected. EXPL. A backup ring is used behind an O-ring in a high-pressure hydraulic system to prevent the high pressure from extruding the O-ring between the moving and the stationary parts. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. 
Question 7 of 114. One of the distinguishing characteristics of an open center selector valve used in a hydraulic system is that not selected, fluid flows through the valve in the off position. Re selected. EXPL. In an open center hydraulic selector valve, fluid flows through the valve when it is in the off position. Open center selector valves are installed in series with each other, while closed center valves are installed in parallel with each other. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 8 of 114. Which is a characteristic of synthetic base hydraulic fluid? Not selected. High flash point. Selected. EXPL. One of the main advantages of the new synthetic base hydraulic fluids over the older mineral base hydraulic fluids is their higher flash point. Reference. AMT. Okay. Next. Question 9 of 114. In a typical high-pressure pneumatic system, if the moisture separator does not vent accumulated water when the compressor shuts down, a likely cause is a not selected, malfunctioning solenoid dump valve, radio selected, EXPL. When the pneumatic system pressure reaches the pump cutoff pressure of 3150 psi, the pressure sensing switch opens the circuit to the hydraulic selector valve and shuts off pressure to the hydraulic motor which drives the air compressor. At the same time, the dump valve solenoid is de-energized and the dump valve opens, venting overboard any moisture that has accumulated in the moisture separator. If the solenoid-operated dump valve should malfunction, the water accumulated in the moisture separator will not be vented overboard when the compressor shuts down. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Question 10 of 114. Extrusion of an O-ring seal is prevented in a high-pressure system by the use of a Not selected, backup ring on the side of the O-ring away from the pressure, radio button. Selected, PXPL. Extrusion of an O-ring seal is prevented in a high-pressure system by installing a backup ring in the groove with the O-ring, on the side of the O-ring away from the pressure. The backup ring prevents the high-pressure fluid from forcing the O-ring into the space between the piston and cylinder wall. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 11 of 114. The hydraulic component that automatically directs fluid from either the normal source or an emergency source to an actuating cylinder is called a not selected, shuttle valve. Selected. EXPL. A shuttle valve is an automatic valve mounted on a landing gear actuating cylinder or brake cylinder. It directs normal system fluid into the component for normal operation, but in an emergency, it automatically shifts to allow fluid from the emergency system to enter the component. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Question 12 of 114. Select the valve used in a hydraulic system that directs pressurized fluid to one end of an actuating cylinder and simultaneously directs return fluid to the reservoir from the other end. Not selected, selector. Selected, EXPL. A selector valve is a fluid power system component that directs the flow of pressurized fluid to one end of an actuating cylinder, and simultaneously, directs return fluid to the reservoir from the other end of the cylinder. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 13 of 114. Phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid is very susceptible to contamination from Not selected, water in the atmosphere. Selected, EXPL. Phosphate ester hydraulic fluid is susceptible to contamination from moisture in the atmosphere. For this reason, the fluid containers must always be tightly capped when not in use. Ref okay. Next. Question 14 of 114. Which must be done before adjusting the relief valve of a main hydraulic system incorporating a pressure regulator? Not selected, eliminate the action of the unloading valve. Rate selected. EXPL. 
Before any pressure relief valves in a hydraulic system can be adjusted, the pressure regulator, which is also known as the unloading valve, must be temporarily set to a pressure above that of the relief valve being set, or its action must be eliminated in some other way. If the operation of the unloading valve is not eliminated, the pressure will never rise high enough to adjust the relief valve. Reference. A okay. Next. Question 15 of 114. Before removing the filler cap of a pressurized hydraulic reservoir, in order to service the system, you must Not selected, relieve the air pressure. Radio button. Tap to toggle. Selected. EXPL. Some hydraulic reservoirs are pressurized with bleed air from the engine compressor or from a Venturi T. All of the air pressure must be relieved before a pressurized reservoir is opened. Okay. Next. Question 16 of 114. After a hydraulic accumulator has been installed and air chamber charged, the main system hydraulic pressure gauge will not show a hydraulic pressure reading until Not selected, the fluid side of the accumulator has been charged. Selected. EXPL even though a hydraulic accumulator has been charged with air, no system pressure will show on the main system gauge until fluid has been pumped into the fluid side of the accumulator. Reference. AM. Okay. Next. Question 17 of 114. Which of the following lists only desirable properties of a good hydraulic fluid that has chemical stability? Not selected. Low viscosity. High flash point. High fire point. Selected. EXPL. A good hydraulic fluid must have a low viscosity so it is free to flow. It must be chemically stable and must have a high flash point and a high fire point. Okay, button. Next. Question 18 of 114. A common cause of slow actuation of hydraulic components is. Not selected. Internal leakage in the actuating unit. Selected. EXPL. Internal leakage in an actuating unit is a common cause of slow actuation of a hydraulic component. Reference. A. Okay. Next. Question 19 of 114. The unit in a hydraulic system that requires a certain action to be completed before another action can begin is called a Not selected. Sequence valve. Selected. EXPS. Sequence valves allows one hydraulic operation to follow another in a definite order, or sequence. Okay. Next. Question 20 of 114. A crossflow valve which is designed to bypass fluid from one side of an actuating cylinder to the other side, under certain conditions, may be found in some aircraft installed in the Not selected, landing gear system. Selected, EXPL. The function of a cross-flow valve is to bypass hydraulic fluid from the landing gear up line to the down line, when the landing gear is being extended. When the landing gear is released from its uplocks, its weight causes it to fall so rapidly that fluid cannot fill in behind the piston in the actuating cylinder, and excessive pressure builds up on the opposite side of the piston. The cross-flow valve permits fluid to flow from the upside of the piston to the downside and thus allows the gear to fall more easily and with an even motion. Reference AMTSTRUC Chapter 5 Okay Next Question 21 of 114 Excluding lines, which components are required to make up a simple hydraulic system? Not selected, pump, reservoir, selector valve, and actuator Selected EXPL a simple hydraulic system includes a reservoir, a pump, a selector valve, and an actuator. All of the other components in the system are used to make the system more efficient and more effective. Refer- Okay. Next. Question 22 of 114. A hydraulic motor converts fluid pressure to Not selected, rotary motion. Selected. EXP- a hydraulic motor converts fluid pressure into rotary motion. Okay. Next. 
Question 23 of 114. Unloading valves are used with many engine-driven hydraulic pumps to Not selected, relieve the pump pressure. Selected. EXPL. An unloading valve is another name for a system pressure regulator. When the system pressure reaches the regulating range, a check valve in the unloading valve traps pressure in the system where it is held by the accumulator. A valve then opens to allow fluid from the pump to circulate back to the reservoir with very little opposition. The fluid flows with the pump unloaded until the system pressure drops to the kick-in pressure of the unloading valve. When the kick-in pressure is reached, the output of the pump is again directed into the system. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Question 24 of 114. Chatter in a hydraulic system is caused by Not selected, air in the system. Selected. EXPL. Chatter in a hydraulic system is usually caused by air in the fluid that is moving through the pump. Reference, AMT. Okay. Next. Question 25 of 114. If hydraulic fluid is released when the air valve core of the accumulator is depressed, it is evidence of Not selected, a ruptured diaphragm or leaking seals. Selected. EXPL. A ruptured diaphragm or leaking seal in an accumulator will allow hydraulic fluid to get into the air side of the accumulator and be released with the air when the air valve core is depressed. Okay. Next. Question 26 of 114. What is one advantage of piston-type hydraulic motors over electric motors? Not selected. There is no fire hazard if the motor is stalled. Selected. EXPL. One of the main advantages of a piston-type hydraulic motor over an electric motor is the fact that there is no fire hazard when the hydraulic motor is stalled. Okay. Next. Question 27 of 114. Although dents in the heel of a bend are not permissible, they are acceptable in the remainder of a hydraulic tube providing they are less than what percent of the tube diameter? Not selected. 20. Radio button. Selected. EXPL Dents in the heel of a bend in a piece of hydraulic tubing are not acceptable. Dents in other parts of hydraulic tubing are acceptable if their depth is less than 20% of the tube diameter. Okay. Next. Question 28 of 114. The purpose of restrictors in hydraulic systems is to Not selected, control the rate of movement of hydraulically operated mechanisms. Selected. EXPL. Restrictors in a hydraulic system control the rate of movement of hydraulically operated mechanisms. They control the rate of movement by restricting the flow of fluid into the mechanism. Okay, button. Next. Question 29 of 114. What is the main purpose of a pressurized reservoir in a hydraulic system? Not selected, prevent hydraulic pump cavitation. Selected. EXPL. Reservoirs for hydraulic systems used in aircraft that fly at extremely high altitudes are normally pressurized to produce a positive supply of fluid to the engine-driven pump. This prevents the pump cavitation. Okay. Next. Question 30 of 114. In a hydraulic system that has a reservoir pressurized with turbine engine compressor bleed air, which unit reduces the air pressure between the engine and reservoir? Not selected, air pressure regulator. Selected, EXPL. Hydraulic system reservoirs that are pressurized by turbine bleed air require an air pressure regulator between the engine and the reservoir to reduce the pressure to the proper value. Okay. Next. Question 31 of 114. Some hydraulic systems incorporate a device which is designed to remain open to allow a normal fluid flow in the line, but closed if the fluid flow increases above an established rate. This device is generally referred to as a Not selected, hydraulic fuse. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic fuse may shut off the flow of fluid when either an excessive rate of flow occurs or when an excessive amount of flow has occurred. 
Under normal operation, a fuse acts as an open line. Okay. Next. Question 32 of 114. Where can information be obtained about the compatibility of fire-resistant hydraulic fluid with aircraft materials? Not selected. Fluid manufacturers' technical bulletins. Selected. EXPL. Manufacturers' technical bulletins provide information on the compatibility of fire-resistant hydraulic fluids with aircraft materials. Okay. Next. Heat exchange. Question 33 of 114. Heat exchanger cooling units are required in some aircraft hydraulic systems because of Not selected. High pressures and high rates of fluid flow. Selected. EXPL. Some aircraft hydraulic systems have such a high fluid pressure and high rate of fluid flow that the fluid becomes too hot for efficient operation. These systems cool the fluid with heat exchangers that are similar to engine oil coolers. Okay. Next. Question 34 of 114. If a hydraulic brake system uses neoprene rubber packing materials, the correct hydraulic fluid to service the system is Not selected. Mineral base oil. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic system that uses mineral base fluid should use neoprene rubber packing materials. Systems using vegetable base fluid should use natural rubber seals, and systems using phosphate ester base fluid should use butyl seals. Okay. Next. Question 35 of 114. What is commonly used to connect an emergency source of power, and at the same time disconnect the normal hydraulic source from critical parts of a landing gear or wheel braking system for operation, usually when the normal source system fails? Not selected, shuttle valve. Selected, EXPL. A shuttle valve is used in some systems to ensure that if an emergency source of hydraulic power is needed, only the essential parts of the system are actuated. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 36 of 114. Seals used with a mineral-based hydraulic fluid are identified by which color code? Not selected. Blue dot or stripe. Selected. EXPL. The material of which the seal is made, its age, and its hardness are all important when making the proper replacement. Mineral base hydraulic fluid, mil H5606, should use a seal with a blue dot or stripe. Okay. Next. Question 37 of 114. To check the air charge in a hydraulic accumulator. Not selected, observe the first reading on the hydraulic system gauge while operating a component in the system. Radio button. Not selected, read it directly from the auxiliary pressure gauge. Radio button. Not se selected. Not selected, read it directly from the auxiliary pressure gauge. Radio button. Selected. Not selected, reduce all hydraulic pressure, then observe the reading on the accumulator air gauge. Radio. Selected. EXPL. Modern practice is to measure the hydraulic system pressure on the nitrogen, or air, side of the accumulator. When no engine is running and all hydraulic pressure is removed from the system, the accumulator gauge reads the amount of the accumulator air preload. Re okay. Next. Question 38 of 114. Relief valves are used in pneumatic systems. Not selected, as damage preventing units. Selected. EXPL. Relief valves in pneumatic systems are damage preventing units that are preset and safetyed. They are installed to protect the system from excessive pressure buildup that can be caused by thermal expansion or by a compressor power system malfunction. Relief valve. Okay. Next. Question 39 of 114. After installation of a rebuilt hydraulic hand pump, it is found that the handle cannot be moved in the pumping direction pressure stroke. The most likely cause is an incorrectly installed Not 
Not selected. Hand pump out port check valve. Selected. EXPL. If the handle of a rebuilt hydraulic hand pump cannot be moved in the normal pumping direction, the most likely cause would be that the pump out port check valve is incorrectly installed. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Pause. Okay. Next. Question 40 of 114. Which valve installed in a hydraulic system will have the highest pressure setting? Not selected. Thermal relief valve. Ra selected. EXPL. A thermal relief valve would be adjusted to a higher pop-off pressure than any of the other valves in a hydraulic system. Thermal relief valves are installed in portions of a hydraulic system that normally hold fluid trapped by a selector valve. They relieve the pressure that is built up in the lines as the fluid is heated by the surrounding air. Thermal relief valves are set to relieve a pressure higher than any of the other valves, so they will not interfere with normal system operation or protection. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Question 41 of 114. The primary function of the flap overload valve is to Not selected, prevent the flaps from being lowered at airspeeds which would impose excessive structural loads. Re selected. EXPL. A flap overload valve prevents the flaps from being lowered at an airspeed that would impose excessive structural loads on the aircraft. Okay. Next. Question 42 of 114. Which of the following is adversely affected by atmospheric humidity if left unprotected? 1. Mill H5606 hydraulic fluid. 2. Skydraw hydraulic fluid. 3. None of the above. Not selected. 2. Selected. EXPF. Skydraw phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid is susceptible to contamination from moisture in the atmosphere. Containers of Skydraw should be kept tightly closed to prevent this contamination. Okay. Next. Question 43 of 114. Refer to figure 12. Which illustration shows the correct spiral for Teflon backup rings? View fig. View figure. Not selected. 1 and 3. Selected. EXPL. The correct spiral for a Teflon backup ring is shown in 1 and 3. View 1 shows the ring before pressure is applied. View 3 shows the way the ring shapes itself when pressure is applied. Okay. Next. Pause. Question 44 of 114. Which statement about fluids is correct? Not selected. All fluids readily transmit pressure. Selected. EXPL. All fluids, whether gases or liquids, transmit pressure in a fluid power system. A liquid is a non-compressible fluid and a gas, such as air, is a compressible fluid. Okay. Next. Question 45 of 114. Hydraulic system accumulators serve which of the following functions? 1. Dampen pressure surges. 2. Supplement the system pump when demand is beyond the pump's capacity. 3. Store power for limited operation of components if the pump is not operating. 4. Ensure a continuous supply of fluid to the pump. Not selected. 1, 2, 3. Selected. EXPL. An accumulator in a hydraulic system is basically a chamber to store hydraulic fluid under pressure. It dampens the pressure surges and aids, or supplements, the power pump when the demand is beyond the pump's capacity. It also stores power for limited operation of components when the pump is not operating. Okay. Next. Question 46 of 114. Which is true regarding the ground check of a flap operating mechanism which has just been installed? Not selected, if the time required to operate the mechanism decreases with successive operations, it indicates the air is being worked out of the system. Selected. EXPL. 
It is a normal procedure for a double acting system such as the flap operating mechanism to have air in it when it is first installed. To remove this air, the system is cycled through its operation a number of times. As the air is expelled from the system, the operating time will decrease because of the loss of the compressible fluid in the system. Okay. Next. Question 47 of 114. How would the air pressure charge in the accumulator be determined if the engine is inoperative, but the system still has hydraulic pressure? Not selected, operate a hydraulic unit slowly and note the pressure at which a rapid pressure drop begins as it goes toward zero. Re selected. EXPL. The air pressure charge in an accumulator may be determined by slowly operating some hydraulic unit, such as the power brakes, to bleed the pressure off of the system. Watch the system pressure gauge. The last pressure indicated on the gauge before it suddenly drops to zero is the pressure of the air in the accumulator. Okay. Next. Question 48 of 114. Characteristics of mil H8446 Skydraw 500A and B, hydraulic fluid are not selected, light purple color, phosphate ester base, fire resistant, butyl rubber seals. Selected. EXPL. Mil H8446 hydraulic fluid is a light purple, phosphate ester base, fire resistant fluid. Butyl rubber seals are used with mil H8446 fluid. Okay. Next. Question 49 of 114. If fluid is added to a reservoir in a constant pressure hydraulic system while the system is pressurized, what will result? Not selected, the fluid level will increase when system pressure is reduced. Selected. EXPL. Fluid is drawn from the reservoir when pressure is built up in the system and the accumulator is charged. If fluid is added to the reservoir while the system is pressurized, the fluid level will increase when the system pressure is reduced. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 50 of 114. Using a hand pump, pressure of 100 psi has been built up in a hydraulic system. The hand pump piston is 1 inch in diameter. A 1 half inch line connects the hand pump to an actuating cylinder 2 inches in diameter. What is the pressure in the line between the hand pump and the actuator? Not selected. 100 PSI. Selected. EXPL. According to Pascal's law, pressure is the same in all parts of an enclosed system. If the hand pump builds up a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch, this same pressure will exist in the 1 half inch diameter line as well as in the 2 inch diameter actuating cylinder. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 51 of 114. An aircraft pneumatic system, which incorporates an engine-driven multi-stage reciprocating compressor, also requires Not selected, a moisture separator. Selected. EXPL. A moisture separator must be used in an aircraft pneumatic system that incorporates engine-driven compressors. The moisture separator separates the moisture from the compressed air before the air is allowed to expand in the system. If moisture were allowed to remain in the air, the temperature drop that occurs when the air expands would cause it to freeze and block the system. Okay. Next. Question 52 of 114. Generally, the first step in removing an accumulator from an aircraft is to Not selected, relieve system pressure. Radi selected. EXP Generally, the first step in removing an accumulator from an aircraft is to relieve all of the system pressure. An accumulator can be removed from an aircraft with the air preload still in it, but the preload must be discharged before the accumulator is disassembled. Okay. Next. Question 53 of 114. The air that is expended and no longer needed when an actuating unit is operated in a pneumatic system is not selected, exhausted or dumped, usually overboard. Selected. EXPL. After a pneumatic component has been actuated, the compressed air is dumped overboard. Okay. Next. Question 54 of 114. 
In which of the following allows fluid to flow unimpeded in one direction but prevents fluid flow in the other direction? Not selected. Check valve. Selected. EXPL. A check valve is a fluid power system component that allows a free flow of fluid in one direction, but it prevents any flow in the opposite direction. Ref okay. Next. Question 55 of 114. What relief valves are used in pneumatic systems as damage-preventing units? Two check valves are used in both hydraulic and pneumatic systems. Regarding the above statements, not selected, both number 1 and number 2 are selected. EXPL Statement 1 is true. Relief valves are used in pneumatic systems as damage-preventing units. Statement 2 is also true. Check valves are used in both hydraulic and pneumatic systems. Okay. Next. Question 56 of 114. Quick disconnect couplings in hydraulic systems provide a means of Not selected, quickly connecting and disconnecting hydraulic lines without loss of fluid or entrance of air into the system. Rate selected. EXPL. Hydraulic quick disconnect fittings are normally found at the hydraulic pump. They allow the lines to be quickly connected or disconnected without loss of fluid or entrance of air into the system. Okay. Next. Question 57 of 114. If a rigid tube is too short for the flare to reach its seat before tightening, pulling it into place by tightening. Not selected, may distort the flare. Selected. EXPL. You must never pull a rigid tube into position by using the flare nut on the fitting. This poor practice will distort the flare and could actually pull it off of the tube. Okay. Next. Question 58 of 114. Most variable displacement aircraft hydraulic pumps in use. Not selected. Contain a built-in means of system pressure regulation. Radi selected. EXPL. Most modern variable displacement hydraulic pumps have a built-in means of system pressure regulation. They require no separate system pressure regulator. Rep okay. Next. Question 59 of 114. A flexible ceiling element subject to motion is a not selected, packing, radio, selected, EXPL. A packing is a flexible ceiling element that is subject to motion. A gasket is a flexible ceiling element that is not subject to motion. Okay. Next. Question 60 of 114. What type of packings should be used in hydraulic components to be installed in a system containing Skydrol? Not selected, and packings made of neoprene. Selected. Not selected, packing materials made for ester base fluids. Selected. EXPL. Any packing used in a hydraulic system using Skydrol hydraulic fluid must be compatible with ester base fluids, of which Skydrol is a type. Only packing specifically called out by part number should be used in an aircraft hydraulic system. Okay. Next. Question 61 of 114. Which characteristics apply to aircraft hydraulic systems? 1. Minimum maintenance requirements. 2. Lightweight. 3. About 80% operating efficiency, 20% loss due to fluid friction. 4. Simple to inspect. Not selected. 1, 2, 4. Selected. EXPL. Hydraulic systems have many advantages as a power source for operating various aircraft units. Hydraulic systems combine the advantages of lightweight, ease of installation, simplicity of inspection, and minimum maintenance requirements. Hydraulic operations are also almost 100% efficient, with only a negligible loss due to fluid friction. Okay. Next. Question 62 of 114. Severe kickback of the emergency hydraulic hand pump handle during the normal intake stroke will indicate which of the following. Not selected, the hand pump outlet check valve is sticking open. Selected. EXPL. 
If the hand pump kicks back during the normal intake stroke, it is an indication that the outlet check valve is stuck open, allowing system pressure stored in the accumulator to push back in the piston. This pressure should have been stopped by the check valve. Okay. Next. Question 63 of 114. What safety device is usually located between the driving unit and hydraulic pump drive shaft? Not selected. Pump drive coupling shear section. Selected. EXPL. Almost all engine-driven hydraulic pumps have a shear section in their drive coupling. If all of the pressure relief devices should fail, or if the pump should seize, the shaft will shear and prevent the pump from being further damaged. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 64 of 114. A hydraulic system operational check during ground runup of an aircraft indicates that the wing flaps cannot be lowered using the main hydraulic system, but can be lowered by using the emergency hand pump. Which is the most likely cause? Not selected. The fluid level in the reservoir is low. Selected. EXPL. If the level of the fluid in the reservoir is below the outlet that feeds the engine-driven pump, Portions of the system can be actuated by the emergency hand pump, but not by the engine-driven pump. Okay. Next. Question 65 of 114. One, when servicing aircraft hydraulic systems, use the type fluid specified in the aircraft manufacturer's maintenance manual or on the instruction plate affixed to the reservoir or unit. Two, hydraulic fluids for aircraft are dyed a specific color for each type of fluid. Regarding the above statements, not selected, both number 1 and number 2 are true. EXPL, not selected. EXPL, statement 1 is true. When servicing aircraft hydraulic systems, be sure to use only the type of fluid specified in the aircraft manufacturer's maintenance manual or on the instruction plate attached to the reservoir or to the unit. Statement 2 is also true. Aircraft hydraulic fluids are dyed to identify them. MIL H5606 is dyed red. Some of the synthetic hydraulic fluids are dyed purple and others are dyed green. The color identifies the specific fluid. Rep. Okay. Next. Question 66 of 114. Many hydraulic reservoirs contain a small quantity of fluid which is not available to the main system pump. This fluid is retained to... Not selected, supply fluid to the auxiliary pump. Selected. EXPL. The outlet from the hydraulic reservoir to the main engine-driven hydraulic pump is above the outlet that goes to the hand pump. If a line breaks and the engine-driven pump forces all the fluid to which it has access overboard, there is still fluid left in the reservoir. There is enough fluid available to the auxiliary hand pump for such critical operations as landing gear extension. Okay. Next. Question 67 of 114. Pressure is a term used to indicate the force per unit area. Pressure is usually expressed in Not selected, pounds per square inch. Selected. PXPL. Pressure is a measure of force per unit area, and it is normally expressed in such terms as pounds per square inch, psi. Reference. AMTG Chapter 3. Okay. Next. Question 68 of 114. A unit which transforms hydraulic pressure into linear motion is called Not selected, an actuating cylinder Selected EXPL An actuating cylinder is a device that transforms hydraulic fluid pressure into linear motion Okay Next Question 69 of 114 How is the air in a hydraulic accumulator prevented from entering the fluid system? Not selected, by physically separating the air chamber from the oil chamber with a flexible or movable separator. Selected. EXPL. Air in the accumulator is kept out of the fluid portion of the hydraulic system by the two chambers of the accumulator being separated by a diaphragm, a bladder, or a movable piston. Okay. Next. Question 70 of 114. What function does the absolute pressure regulator perform in the pneumatic power system? Not 
not selected, regulates the compressor inlet air to provide a stabilized source of air for the compressor. Re selected. EXPL. The absolute pressure regulator in an aircraft pneumatic system regulates the air pressure at the inlet to the compressor. In doing this, it provides a stabilized source of air for the compressor. Okay. Next. Question 71 of 114. In a gear type hydraulic pump, a mechanical safety device incorporated to protect the pump from overload is the Not selected, shear pin Selected EXPL A shear pin or a shear section of the drive shaft is used with a constant displacement, engine-driven, gear type hydraulic pump to protect the pump from damage in case of an overload. If all the regulating and relief valves fail, the shaft will shear and keep the pump from being more seriously damaged. Okay. Next. Question 72 of 114. Chattering of the hydraulic pump during operation is an indication. Not selected, that air is entering the pump. Selected. EXPL. An air leak at the inlet side of a hydraulic pump will cause it to chatter as it alternately gets air and then hydraulic fluid. Okay. Next. Question 73 of 114. One of the main advantages of Skydraw is its Not selected, wide operating temperature Selected EXPL Skydraw is a phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid that has the advantages over mil H5606 fluid in its being fire resistant and its wide temperature operating range of minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit to greater than 225 degrees Fahrenheit Okay Next Question 74 of 114. The primary purpose of a hydraulic actuating unit is to transform. Not selected, fluid pressure into useful work. Selected. EXPL. The primary purpose of any hydraulic actuating unit is to transform fluid pressure into useful work. Okay. Next. If the Question 75 of 114. If the hydraulic system pressure is normal while the engine-driven pump is running, but there is no pressure after the engine has been shut off, it indicates. Not selected, the pressure regulator is set too high. Selected. Not selected, the system relief valve setting is too high. Radio button. Not selected. Selected. EXPL. Air is required in an accumulator to hold pressure in the system after the engine is shut down. If the system does not hold pressure, there is no air pressure in the accumulator. Re okay. Next. Question 76 of 114. One materials which are Skydraw compatible or resistant include most common aircraft metals and polyurethane and epoxy paints. 2. Skydraw hydraulic fluid is compatible with nylon and natural fibers. Regarding the above statements, not selected, both number 1 and number 2 are true. Selected. EXPL. Statement 1 is true. Skydraw does not appreciably affect common aircraft metals such as aluminum, silver, zinc, magnesium, cadmium, iron, stainless steel, bronze, chromium, and others, as long as the fluids are kept free from contaminations. Paints such as epoxies and polyurethanes are Skydraw resistant. Statement 2 is also true. Skydraw fluid is compatible with natural fibers and with a number of synthetics, including nylon, which are used extensively in modern aircraft. Okay. Next. Question 77 of 114. Components containing phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid may be cleaned with Not selected, Stoddard salt Selected. EXPL. Systems using Skydraw fluid should be flushed with trichloroethylene. Components containing Skydraw fluid can be cleaned with Stoddard solvent, methyl ethyl ketone, MEC, or isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Next. In question 78 of 114. The purpose of the pressure regulator in a hydraulic system is to Not selected, prevent failure of components or rupture of hydraulic lines under excessive pressure. Radio button. Not selected, maintain system operating pressure within a predetermined range and to unload the pump. Radio. Selected. EXPL. 
A hydraulic system pressure regulator maintains a system operating pressure within a predetermined range. The regulator unloads the pump when the upper limit of this pressure is reached. The pump remains unloaded, circulating the fluid through the system with no opposition until the lower limit of the pressure is reached, at which time the pump again forces fluid into the system. Okay. Next. Question 79 of 114. When hydraulic system pressure control and relief units fail to function properly, how are most systems protected against overpressure? Not selected, a shear section on the main hydraulic pump drive shaft. Radio selected. EXPL. If the system pressure regulator and all of the system pressure relief valves fail, a shear section in the main hydraulic pump shaft will break. This will protect the system against overpressure. Okay. Next. Question 80 of 114. Hydraulic system thermal relief valves are set to open at a not selected, higher pressure than the system relief valve. Selected. EXPL. Hydraulic system thermal relief valves are set at a higher pressure than the system pressure relief valve. Okay. Next. Question 81 of 114. What type of selector valve is one of the most commonly used in hydraulic systems to provide for simultaneous flow of fluid into and out of a connected actuating unit? Not selected, four port, closed center valve. Selected. EXPL. The most commonly used selector valve in an aircraft hydraulic system is a four port, closed center selector valve. Okay. Next. Question 82 of 114. Hydraulic fluid filtering elements constructed of porous paper are normally not selected, discarded at regular intervals and replaced with new filtering elements. Selected. EXPL. The porous paper elements used in some hydraulic filters are discarded at regular intervals, rather than being cleaned. Okay. Next. Question 83 of 114. An emergency supply of fluid is often retained in the main hydraulic system reservoir by the use of a standpipe. The supply line is connected to the not selected inlet of the main hydraulic system. Selected. EXPL. The supply line from the standpipe in a hydraulic reservoir is attached to the inlet of the main hydraulic system pump. This standpipe ensures that there will be a supply of fluid available to the emergency pump if the main system pump should force overboard all of the fluid available to it. Okay. Next. Question 84 of 114. If an engine-driven hydraulic pump of the correct capacity fails to maintain normal system pressure during the operation of a cowl flap actuating unit, the probable causes. Pause. Not selected. Restriction in the pump outlet. Re selected. EXPL. If there is a restriction in the pump outlet or between the pump outlet and the system pressure regulator, the system pressure will drop when some unit is actuated. Okay. Next. Question 85 of 114. A hydraulic pump is a constant displacement type if it not selected, delivers a uniform rate of fluid flow. Rate selected. EXPL. A constant displacement type of hydraulic pump delivers a uniform rate of fluid flow. It moves the same amount of fluid each time it rotates. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 86 of 114. The internal resistance of a fluid which tends to prevent it from flowing is called. Not selected. Viscosity. Selected. EXP. The internal resistance of a fluid which tends to prevent its flowing is called the viscosity of the fluid. Okay. Next. Question 87 of 114. The component in the hydraulic system that is used to direct the flow of fluid is the not selected orifice check valve radio button tap to toggle. Not selected, selector valve. Selected. EXPL. 
A selector valve is used in a hydraulic system to direct the flow of fluid. Okay. Next. Question 88 of 114. What is the viscosity of hydraulic fluid? Not selected. The internal resistance of a fluid which tends to prevent it from flowing. Selected. EXPL. The viscosity of a fluid is its internal resistance, which tends to prevent its flowing. Okay. Next. Question 89 of 114. Teflon hose that has developed a permanent set from being exposed to high pressure or temperature should not selected, not be straightened or bent further. Re selected. EXPL. When a Teflon hose that has developed a permanent set from exposure to high pressure or temperature is removed from an aircraft hydraulic system, its ends should be supported to prevent the hose from being straightened or further bent. Okay. Next. Question 90 of 114. A loud hammering noise in a hydraulic system having an accumulator usually indicates. Not selected, air in the fluid, radio button. Tap to toggle. Selected. Not selected, too low or no preload in the accumulator. Selected. EXPL. A loud hammering noise in a hydraulic system using an accumulator is often caused by a loss of accumulator air preload. The pressure regulator puts the pump on the line. Since there is no compressible fluid in the system, the cutout pressure is immediately reached. This causes a shock on the system. As soon as the regulator directs the pump outlet to the return manifold, the system pressure drops below the cut-in pressure and the pump is again put on the line. Okay. Next. Question 91 of 114. What type of valve in an aircraft hydraulic system permits fluid to flow freely in one direction, but restricts the rate at which fluid is allowed to flow in the other direction? Not selected, orifice check valve. Selected. EXPL. An orifice check valve permits fluid to flow freely in one direction, but restricts the rate of flow in the opposite direction. Okay. Next. Question 92 of 114. How many of these seals are used with petroleum-based hydraulic fluids? Not selected, neoprene, Buna N. Selected, EXPL. Seals used with petroleum-based hydraulic fluid are made of synthetic rubber. Neoprene and Buna N are forms of synthetic rubber. Okay. Next. Question 93 of 114. Which of the following safeguards ensures proper system operation and mitigates damage to non-metallic components of the hydraulic system? Not selected. When adding fluid to a system, use the type specified in the aircraft manufacturer's maintenance manual or on the instruction plate affixed to the reservoir or unit being serviced. Selected. EXPL. To assure proper system operation and to avoid damage to non-metallic components of the hydraulic system, the correct fluid must be used. When adding fluid to a system, use the type specified in the aircraft manufacturer's maintenance manual or on the instruction plate affixed to the reservoir or unit being serviced. Refer. Okay. Button. Next. Question 94 of 114. The installation of a new metal hydraulic line should be made with Not selected, enough bends to allow the tube to expand and contract with temperature changes and to absorb vibration. Selected. EXPL All metal hydraulic lines should have enough bends in them to allow the tube to expand and contract with temperature and pressure changes and to absorb vibration. Okay. Next. Question 95 of 114. Hydraulic fluid reservoirs are sometimes designed with a standpipe in one of the outlet ports in order to assure emergency supply of fluid. The outlet port with the standpipe in it furnishes fluid to the Not selected, normal system power pump, radio button selected expl the normal system power pump connects to the fluid outlet of the reservoir that is fed from the standpipe 
If the power pump forces all of the fluid available to it overboard through a broken line, there will still be fluid in the reservoir that can be used by the emergency hand pump. Okay. Next. Question 96 of 114. Which is a characteristic of petroleum base hydraulic fluid? Not selected. Flammable under normal conditions. Selected. EXPL. Petroleum base hydraulic fluid is flammable under normal conditions. Because of the flammability of mineral base fluid, synthetic fluids have been developed. Okay. Next. Question 97 of 114. If it is necessary to adjust several pressure regulating valves in a hydraulic system, what particular sequence, if any, should be followed? Not selected. Units with the highest pressure settings are adjusted first. Selected. EXPL. When adjusting several pressure regulating valves in a hydraulic system, always adjust the valve with the highest pressure setting first. Okay. Next. Question 98 of 114. The main system pressure relief valve in a simple hydraulic system equipped with a power control valve should be adjusted. Not selected, with the power control valve held in the closed position. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic power control valve is a hand-operated shut-off valve with an automatic turn-on feature. It must be closed manually, but it opens automatically. When the unit is open, it permits free circulation of fluid from the engine-driven pump to the reservoir. In this way, it relieves the pump of its load. In order to adjust the system pressure relief valve, the power control valve must be pushed into its closed position and held until the system pressure builds up high enough to adjust the system pressure relief valve. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 99 of 114. Characteristics of mil H7644 hydraulic fluid are Not selected. Blue color, vegetable base, will burn, natural rubber seals. Selected. EXPL. Mil H7644 hydraulic fluid is a blue, vegetable base fluid. It will burn and should be used with components that have natural rubber seals. Okay. Next. Question 100 of 114. Pneumatic systems utilize. Not selected. Relief valves. Selected. EXPL. The only components among the choices given with this question that are used in a pneumatic system are relief valves. Okay. Next. Question 101 of 114. The removal of air from an aircraft hydraulic system is generally accomplished. Not selected, by operating the various hydraulic components through several cycles. Radio. Selected. EXPL. Air is removed from most hydraulic systems by cycling the components through several operating cycles. This operation will remove the fluid that contains air from double-acting hydraulic components. Single-acting components, such as brakes, must be bled separately by bleeding some of the fluid from the system to remove the air. Okay. Next. Question 102 of 114. Which sealed material is used with phosphate ester base hydraulic fluids? Not selected, butyl rubber. Selected. EXPL. Butyl rubber seals are used with phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid. Okay. Next. Question 103 of 114. What is used to flush a system normally serviced with mil H5606 hydraulic fluid? Not selected, naphtha or varsol. Selected. EXPL. Naphtha or Varsol can be used to flush a system that is normally serviced with mil H5606 hydraulic fluid. Okay. Next. Question 104 of 114. Characteristics of mil H5606 hydraulic fluid are Not selected, red color, petroleum base, will burn, uses synthetic rubber seals. Selected. EXPL. Mil H5606 hydraulic fluid is a red, petroleum-based fluid. 
It will burn and should be used with components that have synthetic rubber seals. Okay. Next. Question 105 of 114. A hydraulic accumulator is charged with an air preload of 1000 PSI. When a hydraulic system pressure of 3000 PSI is developed, the pressure on the air side of the accumulator will be not selected, 3000 PSI. Selected. EXPL. When hydraulic fluid flows into an accumulator, it compresses the air charge. The pressure of the air will be the same as the pressure of the hydraulic fluid. When the hydraulic system pressure is 3000 PSI, the pressure of the air in the accumulator will also be 3000 PSI. Okay. Next. Question 106 of 114. If an aircraft hydraulic system requires mineral base hydraulic fluid, but phosphate ester base hydraulic fluid is used, what will be the effect on the system? Not selected, system will be contaminated, fluids will not blend, and the seals will fail. Selected. EXPL. If mil H8446 fluid is used in a hydraulic system that is designed to use mil H5606 fluid, the system will be contaminated. The seals are likely to fail. These two fluids are not compatible. Okay. Next. Question 107 of 114. Which of the following is the most commonly used seal to prevent internal and external leakage in both directions of a hydraulic unit? Not selected. O-ring. Selected. EXPL. The most commonly used type of seal for preventing both internal and external leakage in a hydraulic system component is an O-ring seal. Okay. Next. Question 108 of 114. A pilot reports that when the hydraulic pump is running, the pressure is normal. However, when the pump is stopped, no hydraulic pressure is available. This is an indication of a not selected, low accumulator fluid preload. Selected. Not selected, leaking accumulator air valve. Selected. EXPL. If the hydraulic pressure is normal when the pump is running, but drops to zero when the pump stops, there is a good probability that the accumulator has lost its air preload. A leaking accumulator air valve could cause this. Refer okay. Next. Question 109 of 114. If an aircraft's constant pressure hydraulic system cycles more frequently than usual and no fluid leakage can be detected, the most probable causes. Not selected, low accumulator air preload. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic system cycling more frequently than it should is an indication that the accumulator air preload is low. The accumulator is not holding the pressure on the system as long as it would if the preload pressure were correct. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 110 of 114. To protect seals from damage when installed over a threaded section, the threaded section should be not selected, covered with a suitable sleeve. Selected. EXPL. Backing rings or seals can be protected from damage when slipping them over the threads on an actuator by covering the threads with a suitable sleeve. Reference. AC 43.131B. Okay. Next. If question 111 of 114. If two actuating cylinders which have the same cross-sectional area but different lengths of stroke are connected to the same source of hydraulic pressure, they will exert. Not selected, equal amounts of force and will move at the same rate of speed. Selected. EXPL. If two actuating cylinders with pistons having the same cross-sectional area but different lengths of stroke, are connected to the same source of hydraulic pressure, they will exert equal amounts of force and they will move at the same rate of speed. But it will take them different lengths of time to reach the end of their stroke. Okay. Next. Question 112 of 114. Which seals are used with petroleum-based hydraulic fluids? Not selected, Buna N. Selected. EXPL. Seals used in hydraulic systems using petroleum based fluids are made of neoprene or Buna N. Butyl rubber seals are used with phosphate ester based fluids. Okay. Next. 
Question 113 of 114. How can the proper hydraulic fluid to be used in an airplane be determined? Not selected, by consulting the aircraft manufacturer's service manual. Selected. EXPL. Aircraft service manuals specify the correct type of hydraulic fluid to be used in a particular aircraft. The fluid specifications are also normally marked on the hydraulic reservoir. Okay. Next. Question 114 of 114. The purpose of a hydraulic pressure regulator is to Not selected, relieve the pump of its load when no actuating units are being operated. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic system pressure regulator, or unloading valve, relieves the pump of its load when no units are being actuated. The accumulator holds the system pressure at the desired level while the pump is unloaded. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. <laughs>